Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to show how we rerun Pi Selenium failed test. Okay, so let's see. So first of all, when we execute the uh, Pi test, Pi Selenium test, okay, maybe we are getting some failed test. And if you want to rerun the uh, failed test, how we do that? So this is very easy task. So let's see. So first of all, I am going to run the test. So I have some uh, test under the Selenium Python form under this. So basically, the tests are available here. So now I am going to run by using PyTest. So PyTest. Then I am giving the folder name. This is Selenium form. Passing the hyphen yes to print the console value. So now I started the running. So it will execute all the test, right? And after that, uh, if the test any test is getting fail, it will cache. So Python PyTest has a feature which will cache the failed test, right? All the tests which is running, it will automatically cache under one folder. So I will show you once the execution is done. So now your execution completed and you can see one failed and four tests passed. Okay. So after the execution, uh, PyTest will automatically create one folder. This is the PyTest cache folder. Okay. If I go here, you will see it, it's, it stores some uh, details. Okay. Under the V cache folder, you can see there is a file last failed. Uh, Test, uh, last failed file is created. If I open this file, you will see the test which is failed we are getting here. Test create user. And if I go here, you will also see the test create user failed. Test create user, this test failed. Okay, so all the tests which is failed during the execution, it will automatically store and maintain one file under the cache, by test cache, and there is other files, node IDs. So basically, this will contains all the tests which is executed. Now, if we want to run the last failed test, okay, so just use the again command by test folder name. Our folder name is Selenium Python Pong. Okay, then passing hyphen s to print the value on console. Then we need to call double hyphen lf. lf basically last failed. So if we are passing this hyphen hyphen lf, so it will pick the test test cases which are available under this folder and it will start running. So let me run. And you will see it will execute only one test, which is failed. Okay, so again test failed, and this time you can see only one test executed and which is failed. Okay, so now this approach is very very helpful to run only the failed test. Of the Selenium Python with of the Selenium PyTest. Okay, so hope this will be helpful. So if you like the tutorial, click on the like button. Also, uh, subscribe the channel. Click on the bell icon so that you can get latest videos notification. And also share this tutorial to your friends and colleagues. Colleagues, and leave a comment if you have any question.